On December 31st of this year, the agreement between the U.S. and Iraq, under which U.S. military forces are now uh, legally authorized to be present in Iraq, will end. At this moment, there is no subsequent agreement. Therefore, on January 1st, 2012, as things stand, unless something changes, there will be no U.S. military forces in Iraq at all. And that's a very important point to bring out, and it's something that a lot of people have not really been tracking on. America has vital strategic interests in helping the Iraqis continue to secure themselves after the end of this year. If American forces leave Iraq completely, it is very unlikely that Iraq will be able to resist the growing pressure from Iran to accept a largely Iranian foreign policy. And that means that you, can ex you will be able to expect Iraq to support Iran increasingly, even though it is true what people who know Iraqis well have long been saying, that Iraqi Arabs identify themselves as Arabs first and Shia second, and are, do not see themselves naturally cleaving to the Iranian position at all. But we're talking about a balance of power here. And the problem is that right now, unless there's an American military presence assisting the Iraqis, the Iranians, as this report shows, have escalation dominance at every level of escalation. From the lowest proxy conflict and political pressure all the way to conventional conflict, again, Iran pitted against Iraq alone, the Iraqis have no chance. And that is an unacceptable situation for the United States. Needless to say, it's unacceptable for the Iraqis.